In this GUI, uh, I'm going to take a slightly different approach than in the first um, video. Here, I'm not going to specify any uh, MIG layout constraints at all at the start. I'm just going to um, create MIG and then um, afterwards specify what I want from it. So in the first one here, I've said that I want uh, a label here for first name, and then I want uh, a J text field for the uh, user to input some stuff. And my first move here is to say, well, I imagine by default I'll get one cell here. Now, one cell is no good to me because I have two components that I want in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the cell that I get for free from MIG into two. And I'm going to put this component, name label, into that cell. And because it's splitting two, I can also put this component. When I say add here, it'll be immediately dropped in beside this one. So the split in two and two components get in there. So we have this component and the second component. I've also said that the name label is part of a size group. So that means that um, whatever group it's, it's belonging to, all those components will have the same size. So I've said name label is size group A. This one is also size group A. This one is size group A, size group A, size group A. The outcome of all of them having the same size group is that the biggest one wins in that this one here will be the size that decides the size for all the rest of them. So it doesn't it looks a lot neater in that these are uh, vertically aligned and um, it's very simple. All you do is just make each one part of the same size group and then they align themselves. So the second thing that happens is I split the cell in two and I have put a second component in the same cell as the first component, so both of those are in the same cell. And I'm now telling the second element here, uh, this JTEX field, I said, I want you to grow in the X direction. But to allow them to grow, I need the qualifier of the push here. I need to allow growth by having a push here. Because I've nothing up in the constructor up here, I have to uh, do it locally, which is fine. It's a bit like writing a text document. So I put these two elements into the one cell, and then I tell the second element that if the cell should grow in width, like if I do an increase in size here, um, that the second element uh, is the one to grow or to benefit from me enlarging that. The next thing here is the family name and the JTEX field. And again, I've split this uh, cell that it found itself in into two so that it can accommodate family name in exactly the same cell. And it's part of the same size group as the first one. So again, it grows, it's allowed to grow because there's a push X here, and I need a push X there because there's no grow in the constructor itself. After I've inputted it, I do a wrap to go to the next line. Now that is three components. That's why I split this one into three. And again, it's part of the same size group as the other ones, and it has the no wrap immediately because I want three elements in there. So I tell it the same thing. I tell it to grow, this one, if necessary. So you can see this is the one that grows, like that there. And a, it grows in the X direction and then after we add this calendar button I tell it to wrap move to the next line so the next label here then again I have two elements so I split it into two it's part of the same size group as the other ones so that these fields all end up being uh, aligned correctly and these in particular these guys end up aligned correctly because these are all the same width even though we can't see the uh, additional width here in those um, so uh, it's split in two, so this and this are in the same cell, and uh, onto the last one, the mobile phone. Now here we have one, two, three, four components, um, but we've the text box. Not only have we these, we have six components, I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've split my uh, single cell that was here into six, and I've told that the mobile here, which is the uh, this field, this text field, I've told it to grow if it can and then push X allows it to grow. So if the user enlarges it in the X direction, I've qualified that by saying it's in the X direction. And then I have this uh, field here called text, so it gets landed into the same cell. And I have uh, the, tech, the tick box and the tick box and email there as well. And at the end, I say wrap to this new line. In this one here, um, I want it to be the only element in its cell. So you can imagine there's a cell here and it's the only element in there. So I've told it that it's uh, part of size group A 
and I've told it that a minute you insert the element, wrap, basically do a carriage return or a new line. And then I add in the uh, this text area here at the bottom. So the text area, the uh, command for that is um, that it can span. That means it can throw itself across however many cells that are available. So spanning is a bit like stretching yourself out on the sofa across all the seats that are all the cushions that are available. So this one here is like there's some sort of configuration of multiple cells along here now because I have two and three and four and five. And I've said to this guy, span mean uh, stretch yourself out across all the cells that could be available here, and you should grow this way in the x direction and the y direction. And push allows you to grow. So that gives me this fairly simple. Um, or I should say, uh, complex enough GUI in a very simple format.